Okay, I'm going to darken that line a little bit. My pencil. I like to stay under it a little. I like to leave myself a little more room. Sometimes you need that. Just a little bit longer. And if you make them too short, you end up, after you carve everything off, you end up losing your nose. You don't have enough room for the eyes. So I like to give myself a little extra. You can always shorten it if it's too long, but it's awful hard to add to it if you cut it off, cut off too much. So I'm just taking wood out from underneath that nose. That's all I'm doing. Basically, I want to form a block of wood to shape the nose out of. So, I'm not worried about any shape right now. I'm just trying to take out from underneath it so I have a, a, a good little profile on this guy. I'm done. I'm also going to push that top part of the nose back in. You'll see that in a little bit. Again, kind of roll cut. You get up underneath it. I do a roll cut. I actually take my blade and just roll it a little bit up and under so it kind of scoops the wood and leaves me a better transition into the bottom down here so it kind of just gives you that little sweep there makes it a little easier transition for the way we're going to carve this anyway. Okay, <clears throat> so now i got some good depth underneath the nose. Now we're going to draw some lines, just for guidelines. So about where we want that nose to sweep. Sweep down into the corners here. You know, that's, those are just reference lines. Uh, we can change these, okay? And I'm going to switch to my gouge. I'm going to use a pretty good size gouge here. Okay, flex cut. Use my interchangeable handle. <coughs> I really like these. And I'm not sure what the number is on these. I just grab them and whatever it looks like, I use it. All right. I could look them up, but... What I'm going to do is put it right here and try and go up the side of that line there. I'll turn it this way. Maybe you can see it. Right into that eye bridge. Okay. I'm going to hold it so I can do it, but you get the idea there. All right. I'm just going to follow the line on either side up. And I'm not going to worry about these chips right now. I'm going to pop those out in a minute. But I am going to try and scoop out on the sides of that nose. Okay. Now, once I get enough wood out on this side, I'm going to take my tool, put it on this side, and go right up underneath this bridge that we had started, right? I'm going to come in towards the nose that way. Okay. I'm going to take another scoop here. Now, I start this with a big gouge. I'll move to a smaller gouge. You see how that starts taking that out, right? Come up. over to the side, okay, and in towards the corner, the center, don't worry about it, just let it do what it does, you go right into the corner there, and then back up on the side here and take it out, we're going to do the same thing on this side, okay, okay so now I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to lay, the, lay it right on the corner of that line, and go up and into the eye bridge there. Okay, I might have, I'm going to put him on the table for a minute to get a little better leverage. Because it is hard to do it without having some leverage. Okay. You know, remember, this is still cherry. And it does carve nice, but it's still a... Uh, some of these fruit woods are tough. Okay, what I'm going to do is... It's going to be hard from this side. I like to come from the side over. I'm going to lay it on the table to 
get that out. Okay. Then maybe take a scoop this way. And make sure I got plenty of room. Be careful. I know I have my thumb in the way here, but that's actually stopping that gouge from going any further. Because I definitely don't want it to slip and go into my hand since I'm not wearing a glove. There are ways, once you carve for so long, that you learn how to control those blades pretty good. But knives do slip, and I don't recommend you doing it. Wear a glove. Don't follow my footsteps. I won't lie to you, I've had my share of boo-boos. Okay. I'm going to clean it up just a little more on this side. If you have any problem up in here, you can always grab your detail knife and clear a chip. Okay, so now I got a little bit of a profile forming. What I'm going to do from there is come down to here again, the bottom of the nose. Instead of going this way with my gouge and up, the way we usually use a gouge, we're going to turn it over. We're going to invert it. And we're going to push up and into that eye bridge, right? We're going to try and get some of that top to go and angle under it. All right, so I'm going to come down, not quite to the tip. I'm going to angle back like that, of course, and then move down a little further and try and do it again. Just angle it right back and push it in there, okay? And then I'm going to come back over to the side this way again, and then back to the original way. Try and get that chip out. Just scooping, clearing off. Make sure you have enough room in there. Put eyes. So once we start doing eyes, we want to make sure we really have some room. So all this gets scooped out pretty good. Okay. I might take my detail knife up here. Give myself a reference. Put a little stop cut there. I'm going to form brows from that. Okay. Right, so I angled it in a little bit more. I'll take the top part down after I put nostrils and stuff in. Since this is such a big gouge, and that's a wide nose. I'm going to do the rest of the nose with it, I think. I'm going to flip the piece over, turn my gouge over, invert it again. And then I'm going to push it in right at the bottom there. Make sure it's centered pretty good. So I get a little bit of roundness for that nose. Push it in this way. Take the wood out from underneath it. I'm going to form the ball on the end of that nose. Okay. I'm going to kind of blend all this in with it. Okay, now this is a wide gouge. I'm going to switch to a smaller gouge to do nostrils. I thought I had a number five around here. There it is. Now I'm going to pick up that little U-cut that I did there, right to the corner of the cut. I'm going to lay another piece. Uh, another piece. It's really hard to do this holding it. Hold on here a sec. I'll show you what I'm going to do before I do it. I'm going to lay this right there pick up that cut, and then I'm going to dig this one in, alright, and I need a little leverage, so I'm going to put the piece down, all I did was that, okay, make it pretty deep, go up and underneath it, pop that chip out, okay, now you have a nostril hole on that side, 
I can do the same thing on this side. This one I could probably do holding it in the camera. Pick up the U cut that we need underneath. Sometimes you gotta get dig it a little more than once. And take the wood out from underneath that. Start forming those nostrils. Keep it clean underneath. Take some wood out if you have to. Give yourself room to work. Okay. okay, so we have one shape here, one shape there. I want to finagle with them. Now I'm going to go to the side again right here. I'm going to come up and make that nose a little deeper in the corner. Same technique. Straight up first and then from the side. Get close to the corner of the, uh, up at the top here. Over to the side. Scoop it out. Okay. Okay, starting to come out a little more. Now, if I really want to bring him out, I'd have to take some of this forehead down that's in my way. 